to have, how many ladies out there seem to have this travesty, this problem, this, this ongoing agony with your hair? Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Well, I'm gonna talk about it. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's been a problem since you were two. Yeah. And you put the barrettes in that were too tight. <laughs> Problem when you were 10 and everyone's hair was relaxed and yours still wasn't because your mother thought she was still too young for that. It was a problem when you realized you could put extensions in it and make it really, really long, but then you ended up with clumps of dirt at the end of your roots in three months. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. All right. So this is a poem that I wrote um, some time ago when I was really meditating on what this thing is and why it's giving us so much trouble. So here we go. See, don't turn away because I caught you staring. Yeah. You seem to have a problem with it, so I'm going to let you know all about my hair. Yeah. You see, in each strand lies a story from mother to daughter to grandma to auntie. To know about it is to have an insight about me. You, you see. see, my hair can stand up straight like a soldier in the cavalry, for lack of a better word, my hair is just plain old nappy. My hair has been fried, dyed, and slipped to the side, twisted, burned, turned, clipped, whipped, crimped, blown out, grown out, and then just torn out. Like the many sides of my being, my hair has taken on many formations. Some were absolutely beautiful, and others called great humiliation. But I am stuck. I'm the black woman's fixation to use her hair to aid her in assimilation, you see. You assimilated because you believed them when they told you you and your hair are ugly. Oh, black girl, cover up your hair so I don't have to see the one thing that makes me realize how unique you are to me. They told you and they told you and so it finally sunk in. Then the hair processing did begin. Started off kind of slow, but ended up like a drug with every fluff of the ends and every painful tub was this. A comb, a fire, yeah. something new has just transpired. Sitting in the kitchen, grease all up on your neck, clenching your teeth as you start to sweat, praying that your mother will make a move that you was so regret. <laughs> and then after that, you can blame when she told you to hold your ear back. Hold it back. Oh, girl, you wouldn't get burned if you just relax. 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 Just relax. relax. You yeah. gotta be relaxed. I wish my hair would just relax. I wish my hair would be so free. I just wish my hair wasn't so ugly. Ugly. You see, instead of connecting with this spiritual, you commence a six-week to three-month ritual, an inferno upon your head for beauty's sake, a fire that convinced your whole body to wait. You can't move because you wait for that perm to take. Take it out, take it out, I can't take it all, no take it out. So we finally did. Because mm -hmm. we no longer saw what you were seeing. We found out we were Nubian queens. It was on the page of every Ebony and Essence magazine. Then come second on nobody's list, ball for any more than tricks. Black beauty was something we could no longer resist. Afro chicks with their afro. Pits rolled with their afros and they rolled thick because they were beautiful. They were naturally beautiful, but 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 wait a minute. What? What's going on? Something bad's about to happen. Wow. Something evil is about to unfurl. Oh. A fool is born and he must invent the sheriff girl. Mm -hmm. Black mm -hmm. folks lost their minds. <laughs> you wouldn't dare steal anything because you know they catch you quick. All they have to do is follow, follow the drips, follow, follow the drips, follow, follow the drips. Child cap on your head when you wanted to go to bed. Black people's couches were a mass hysteria. Afraid to let people in like that family from, from coming, coming to, to America. America. Yeah. But for what? Because you believed them when they told you that you and your hair were ugly. Well, that's all right. That's OK. Because what they did backfired in a way. Because now they're the ones that can't relate when I talk about Jam Burger Mon and so okay. the eight. Now they're the ones that can't get down with me when I talk about TCB. Now they're the ones that have no notion when I talk about from that jerky motion of beginning and standing with every drop of pink ocean sea. You don't have to like my hair. Nope. My hair's not for you to see. My hair is just for me. Beautiful. Just black.
this <laughs>